Um, in fact, I didn't plan it. I started um, being sexually active at a really young age. And then when I found out I was pregnant, I, I wasn't scared, but I was more worried of what my parents' reactions would be and how I would tell them. Um, I was 14 years old. I was going to turn 15 in a couple of months. But basically that's how it started. Um, I wasn't planning to have an abortion or anything. I decided to have my child and continue with school with or without a baby in my arms. It was my choice to become a mother. Nobody else's but mine. I actually like the fact that I made made the right choice. I was more scared because I, I didn't. I was so young. I thought I was gonna fail. I thought I was. I wasn't gonna be a good mom in terms of a good mom. Where everybody says that I wasn't ready. That I was too young. But who, I've never heard anything say where there's an age to be a mother. You do get. You do get like less confident about yourself when women are pregnant. You just have so many emotions. You're like hormones change. You you're you're like happy one second and then you're just mad. But other than that, pregnancy made me feel okay. I was actually okay with being pregnant. It didn't bother me, even though I used to get a lot of like criticism everywhere I went. People looked at me like like I like I was weird. But I was actually okay. I I actually can say that I was happier when I was pregnant than I, than I, what I was after I had the baby. Cause that's when reality hit me. Like. There was a lot of responsibilities. I had to go really quick. My nine months of pregnancy with my daughter were actually the best nine months of my life. I was I was happy. I was able to go to school. I managed to go to school and finish. And even after, even when I was in the hospital, I was still doing homework from classes and giving them back to the professors. When she was born, I snatched her away from the doctor and I held her in my arms because I had promised myself that once she was born, I would be the first one to hug her. I can actually say that my health, my health care was actually pretty good. I actually liked it. I, I always learned something else. I was able to see how big my baby was getting. If everything was wrong with her, any questions, they always, they always made me feel comfortable. Despite my age, they always made me feel a lot better. I actually breast, breastfed my child for six months. I was in school and I was breastfeeding her. I had to stop because I, it just got really complicated with school and like having to come back and. Um, the doctor told me that I can't be mad if I'm breastfeeding because that affects the child, it affects the milk and the baby. So I actually, ever since I had to stop because I, I was stressing out a lot because of school and, and her. I always usually plan out what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it. But it always comes out to be a, a total mess with work, family, and, and school. But it's actually a lot harder. You actually you have you have you make less time because of work and school, and it all gets so complicated on the hours, and the days just seem to fly. Like I feel like there's only ten, like six hours throughout the day. The hours just go by so quick, and everything just the smallest thing you do, you just time just goes, and you're like, oh my god, it's already ten o'clock. I have to go to sleep, and that's it. And that's just how your day ends. And you put yourself last because you have to make sure that she's comfortable, that everything is okay with her when she gets sick. You have to make it on your way to miss work or school. You have to take her to the doctor. Um, everything just gets more complicated. You don't have time for yourself. You're stressed out. You don't do your hair in the morning. You run out and you forgot that you forgot to bring a school book and you have to come back to the house. Everything just gets a lot crazier, a lot more complicated. Everything got more complicated when I, become, when I became a mom. At first, I didn't have much support from my family. Afterwards, things started to like smooth out a bit. Um, my mom wasn't talking to me at first. I, she wasn't talking talking to me at all. I was always arguing with her. My aunt upstairs, like, I, a lot of my family members just turned their backs on me because I was just so young, and that was the main point that I was just 14 years old. But afterwards, as the months went by, I actually got all the support from all my family members. Some I didn't, but I just wanted my mom's support and my my dad's support. My dad was my dad used to get mad because. I couldn't find a job and he would think that it was me being lazy. But he was always there to help me like whenever I had to pay something, whenever I needed something for the baby. He was always there even though he complained complained at the end of the day. He was the only person that actually helped me, him and my mom. My mom actually had to find another job so she could help me for the meantime. When I first got pregnant, the first thing that my mom told me was, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to stay in school. You're going to do it somewhere or the other, but you're not leaving school. I don't care what you do, you're staying in school. I actually can say that was the biggest advice that she ever gave me because 
automatically I already, I already knew that she was going to be there for me. Um, I, another, another advice that she gave me was, was that when you become a mom, your life will change completely. Just you just won't think about yourself anymore. It won't be you. It will, it will just be her, and you, you always make sure that she comes before anything. And she's right. My dad has always been there. I can't even complain because he's always helped me with everything. Um, whenever I can't take my daughter to the daycare, he takes her for me or he helps. He picks her up. But my dad is just, he's just his own. He just has his own personality, which I've learned to deal with throughout the years because he's just, he just, it's just how he is. You can't change a person overnight and I, just my dad's not going to change how he is, but he's there for me, for my sisters. For my mom, and he's just a great dad, a great husband, and a great man. That, in my community, would be that the father's there, he spends time with his child, he takes him to school or her to school, takes him to the babysitter, they go out, they spend time together um, whenever whenever they need whenever they need advice, the dad is there to talk. It's really, it's really hard actually to make time for myself sometimes. Thankfully, I have her father who's there, who takes her sometimes, and so I can have a break from her for a while. He has always been there. She actually loves him so much that it's incredible, and I, and I love how she actually likes to spend time with him, because whenever he leaves, she's like, where's daddy, where's daddy? Or In my culture, a good mom would be a, a housewife, a, a lady that stays home, takes care of her kids, um, it caters to her husband. Um, make sure that everything's like on task. That the house is clean. They cook. They clean. They basically have to do everything. Um, because that's just how it was. That's how it was back in the days. And a lot of people have trouble getting used to how life is now. Like the difference. Um, everything has changed. It's not a lot of women that actually want to stay home and become housewives. A lot of women have their careers now. They want to study. They want to be something. They don't just want to stay home. And as in for a bad mom in my culture would probably be a, a woman who who doesn't have her, her husband there. She has a kid and she's not married. Um, and she's on her own and she's okay with the dad not being there. That would actually be like a burden because it's also because of religion. They want you to be married and to have your husband. Even though it is in the right way, according to my religion, I do agree with it. But you have to, we have to look at the fact that not everybody is going to be like that. Everyone is different. Some mothers want to be want to be single moms. They prefer it that way. They don't they don't want to depend on a guy. I don't believe that you have to go through labor to be a, a real mom or to like, be considered an actual mom of, of your child. It's easy to make a child and it takes a lot more than actually to be a parent because you can decide to have to have your, your child, you get pregnant and you have it. But everything changes when that child is actually here in this world. Everything just becomes more complicated. A lot of people just can't deal with the fact that it's more responsibilities. But I don't I don't think that you need to go through labor to become to be a parent or to be considered a good parent.